G'day YouTube, JB from Oz here. So today we're going to do a video that has been requested by a number of people and that is to look at how the TrueLine 88 works on the round column mill and what sort of accuracy we might expect to see in the Z line of the uh, movement. So my tools at my hand, I have a 0.002mm test indicator, magnet based Noga style clamp to try and hold the test indicator against the quill and my first test will be with the head locked, the table locked, the quill free, what sort of motion we actually have in the quill itself. Uh, so we'll start there. Alright so here we go. Um, the quill is currently at zero at the, at the bottom of its travel and that's the range of 10 centimeters, four inches, back down to zero. So there's there's a fraction of movement there in the quill head itself. There's probably what's that? Minus point zero zero four plus point zero zero five just in the flex in the quill and the head there as I'm pushing at the bottom. What I'm going to do now is fit the TrueLine ADH for those of you who have not yet seen it. This is the collar and this is the lift block and that goes around the head. So I'll bring you back shortly. Alright, so here we go fitting the collar. So the collar has been precision machined to suit the neck of the mill. So essentially, as long as it's sitting flat on the Okay, that feels pretty bloody solid over there. All right, so for the next piece, I'm going to release the clamp of the head. So the head is now able to move. I'll pull the table out of the way. Now, the particular bar that I've got on this set is a test bar. It's not the final bar that Bruce is using on the rest of the solution. Okay, so this is the bar. We've got our vertical plate. We want to clamp into that. And the goal here be to if 
find a spot where it all looks good. Okay, a little bit of jiggering and pokering because this being the example has had a few different holes drilled in a few different places with a few different arrangements that we've tried. What I've got now is slugging up. Initially we've got this piece of steel in this clamp block, this clamp block to that vertical. And because we only have one plate in the vertical, this should actually hold us pretty firmly at 90 degrees or parallel to the column. So once we've locked these guys in, we should be able to test our rise and fall. At this point we're now solid here and here. So let's bring our light around the other side. All right, so where we are now, we have our dial indicator set to zero again. We're going to do a lift and lower test. So essentially what we're looking at there is point zero zero two millimeters plus or minus on the quill going up and down. So now what I'd like to do is lift the head. So coming down, when there's no racking on the head, it's holding very nicely to no movement at all. So going up, there is load on the handle as we spin the handle backwards and forwards, which tends to come back to the same spot. So yes, it's cyclical around that mark. Each mark is a thou. On the way down, when we're not getting the racking of the lift. So as you'll see in Cup of Joe, when he's going up and down, he's used an electric feed. Let's see if we can lubricate it some. It's cyclical around that same point though. down that's not moving at all that's dead knots so the question really is about the offset of the winding of the handle 
Yeah, lovely. There you go. True line 88.